So, um, again we will look at uh, the first law for closed stationary systems. Uh, let us just say closed systems, right. And we wrote that uh, delta E of the system uh, should be equal to Q minus W, right. And uh, this delta E is uh, nothing but delta U plus K E plus P E equals Q minus W. Now, I can also write this on a per unit mass basis, right. I can write this as delta U plus K E where Q is uh, capital Q per unit mass and small w, simple case w is uh, uh, work done per unit mass, right. So, if I write it on a per mass basis, then each term in this equation will have units of joule per kg. Here, each term has units of joule. I can also do a differentiation of this, right. And then we come to processes, right. So, then I can talk about rates, right. So, for example, I can write d u d t plus d k e d t plus d p e d t should be equal to q dot minus w dot. And here is an important distinction that I would like to draw why I am writing here differentials and here I am writing these dots, right. And this is to do with the definition of heat and work interaction, right. So, if I have a system like this, then remember that heat and work interactions only take place at the boundary. And so, I have got to look for some entry of heat, right, or an exit of heat or a work interaction that is the system is doing work on the outside, on the surroundings or the surroundings are doing work on the system, right. So, I have only got to look at the boundary and right. And so, the number of joules per unit time, right, that is what is Q dot, right. And the number of joules again per unit time is W dot. So, that is why this has units of joule per second or it has units of watt. So, joule per second is what, right. So, important distinction is we never write dq dt, right, where dq with respect to time. We do not write dw dt, right. We just write q dot because that is what is crossing the boundary per unit time, right. And whereas, this one is the rate of change of internal energy per unit time, right, inside the system. This is the rate of change of kinetic energy of the system per unit time. This is the rate of change of potential energy of this system per unit time. So, remember that whenever I am talking about the left hand side, I am talking about of this system, internal energy of this system, kinetic energy of this system, potential energy of this system. Whereas, when I am talking about um, the right hand side, I am talking about interaction, right. I am talking about rate of energy entering, the rate of energy leaving, heat addition rate, work rate, right. So, I am talking about rate processes, whereas I am here, I am talking about time rate of change processes. 